They thought it was the test that didn't matter, but it turns out to be one of the greatest in the history of the game. And its hero is 22-year-old Yorkshireman Len Hutton, who jumps to fame as the man of the cricket hour, maybe of the cricket century. Hour after hour, his bat flashes to resounding snick after snick. Mile after mile, white legs leap across that green turf until the vast crowd begins to think of records. 200. Singleton strains a leg muscle and has to retire, but Hutton goes on forever. Hutton gets his 300 and looks like going on to 1,000. Hammond is out for 59. Meanwhile, Uncle George from Hutton's hometown of Pudsey has arrived to see what's going on, but these oval turnstiles aren't so hot. And now the Empire holds its breath, 310. And Uncle George is getting desperate. And the stroke that breaks the record. While the world cheers, Bradman is first to congratulate the youngster who beat Don's own record. The highest individual score in any test match, the longest innings by any batsman in first-class cricket. So they drink his health in lemonade. Uncle George would like to join them, but the law's the law. They're beginning to lay bets on Hutton carrying his bat. But at 364, it's goodbye Hutton. Don Bradman gets so desperate, he puts himself on to bowl and breaks his leg. O'Reilly looks laid out, but he's just lazy. So England declare at the record of 903. And in the interval, we are proud to present an interview with England's 22-year-old cricket hero, Hutton of Yorkshire. Eight years ago, I was very fortunate to see Don Bradman get his wonderful score at Leeds. And I little realised that eight years later, I should be in a position to beat it. The rest is a sad, sad story for Australia. At 123, they follow on, and England win by an innings and 579 runs. So here's a cheer for Wally Hammond and Don Bradman. And don't forget Len Hutton.